Tortoises such as this Russian tortoise are very popular pets. Tortoises are personable and they live a long time. And key to that long life is feeding a tortoise a proper diet. Hi, I'm Russ Case, the editor of Reptiles Magazine. A lot of people think that feeding tortoises means going into a supermarket and buying a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables. But there's more to it than that. A tortoise's diet, generally speaking, should be high in fiber and calcium and low in protein and fruit. It also depends on what type of tortoise you're feeding. High in fiber, hay is a key food for grassland tortoises, such as leopard, sulcata, Russian, Greek, desert, and other tortoises that hail from arid landscapes. Shown here is Timothy hay and alfalfa hay. While it contains beneficial fiber and calcium, alfalfa also contains higher levels of protein than Timothy, so don't go overboard on the alfalfa. Hay can often be found in bags at feed stores, pet stores, or through online retailers. If you don't see it in the reptile section, look in the rabbit and guinea pig sections, because hay is used for both types of animals. Other foods for grassland tortoises include grasses and weeds. Remember that in nature, tortoises graze on these, and both should be made available to your pets. You can buy seed and grow your own grass so your tortoise can graze outside. If you keep your tortoise in an outdoor pen, which is preferred, you can plant edible grasses and other plants right there in the pen. If you plan to let your tortoises graze, or if you're picking wild grasses, weeds, or other vegetation to feed your pets, always be sure the plants you're offering have not been sprayed with pesticides. You should also learn which plants are toxic so you don't accidentally give any to your tortoise. A toxic plant list is available at reptilechannel.com slash toxic plants. Here we have collard greens, mustard greens, and dandelion greens. All are nutritious and high in calcium. Collard and mustard greens are readily available in most grocery stores. Dandelion greens can also be found, or you can always grow your own. Speaking of dandelions, the flowers are relished by tortoises. Other flowers can be offered too. Hibiscus flowers are especially popular, but you can also offer rose petals, carnations, and other types of flowers. Again, be sure they have not been sprayed with pesticides or fertilizers. It may be tempting to buy a bunch of fresh vegetables at the supermarket for your tortoises. Keep in mind, however, that many supermarket veggies are not good choices. Spinach can block a tortoise's ability to process calcium. Corn is very sugary, and some vegetables, such as peas and green beans, actually contain protein. Iceberg lettuce has zero nutritional value and a very high water content that can cause diarrhea in tortoises. Don't offer it. Better choices would be escarole and endive. Fruit can be offered as an occasional treat. Just don't overdo it and avoid types that have a high water content. Blueberries, strawberries, mango, and apple, as well as other types of berries, papaya, and cantaloupe are okay in limited amounts. Go very light if offering fruit to leopard tortoises, sulcatas, Russians, Greeks, and other grassland species. They don't really need fruit anyway. Forest dwellers, such as red-footed and yellow-footed tortoises, are better able to digest fruit. Red-foots and yellow-foots also need some protein. Protein can be provided by giving these tortoises pieces of a good quality, low-fat, dry cat food soaked in water until it's soft. When offering the fresh foods described in this video, sprinkle a small amount of calcium supplement over each serving, preferably one that includes vitamin D3 and that does not contain phosphorus. Commercial tortoise diets and treats can be included in the food rotation as well to offer variety. These can be found at pet stores and through online retailers. Read the ingredients list to ensure they are appropriate for the tortoises you're feeding. This video is meant as a starting point. Always do your research on the specific tortoise you want to keep, including what to feed it, and plan accordingly. Do so, and you can look forward to spending many years with your tortoise pet.